Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made it? Not everything they used to look at me. Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through. Now you in your face. getting into today so today man we're about to be heading to sack we're about to be going to pick up the swing saying this is at the point where shit has really hit the fan with the painter it's pretty much a done deal uh, like it's just way too much going on man right now I'm getting calls from other people saying they're going to go pick up their cars like this is like last minute uh, I'm gonna be going out there grabbing the swing thing this weekend I'm gonna be picking up the FD um, I have no clue what's going on. He, whatever he has going on with his uncle and all this stuff and not paying him or whatever, like it's gotten really, it's, it's gotten bad, man. I've been kind of just silent about things because I really wanted this nigga to win, but bruh, it is, it is bad. I guess I thought it was like a couple of my friend's cars that just took deposits and went there, but turns out there's like 25 people that received deposits. Uh, took the cars to them. People are literally hitting me up saying that they can't get in contact with them. Their car is missing. He ain't responding to them. Uh, people are pulling up to the shop and their cars aren't there. They're at different lots or put in storage. Like it is fucking insane, bro. This is like some shit from a movie. I'm not making it up. So I'm going out there right now. I'm going to pick up the swing thing. I called Jay yesterday. I called him today. Uh, just got off the phone with him. Like, what's going on? And I really feel like the answers he's giving me is bullshit. Uh, Ray from Saxby shop went to the shop picked up his parts our boy John that had the 240 there went there He's going to grab his car and he literally called me and said bro. You need to come get your stuff It was like people are coming up here taking parts things are missing and I'm not about to be playing So I'm about to go up there. I'm grabbing this Wayne's thing this weekend We're going to go pick up the FD, but it is fucking crazy. Uh, I think Rick's trying to pick up his car I already called paradox paradox needs to go up there and pick up his car like it's I, I can't personally can't believe it is this goes so further than the swing stain not being done properly um, after the drift event I dropped the swing stain back off because there were things that were missing things that got broken that I wanted to replace on the car it was probably a day or two's worth of work the car's been there for two weeks hasn't got touched I've been getting bro I'm working on it I'm gonna have it done and the word is that he hasn't been to the shop in hella long so now that these things are coming out uh, his uncle who's renting the spot spot or he's renting the spot from is saying like yeah He hasn't paid me in three months or blah 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 now. It's all making sense to why Swang saying didn't meet re, uh, meet deadlines why the pay came out shitty because it was rushed. So Yeah, man, I think this is probably this is Like not exaggerating the shit that's going on right now is probably way worse than what happened with Twinkie and what happened with Jesse. Honestly, the stuff that happened with Twinkie was like, yeah, whatever, you, you did shit paint work. Jesse was a matter of you not stepping up to the plate and fixing the half-assed work you did. But this, people's parts are getting stolen. Uh, I got friends that have left deposits and we don't even know where cars are. Like, this is crazy to me. So, just so y'all don't think I'm making this up, bruh. Hey Siri, call Ray, Saxby Shop. Remember Ray Chevelle was there. Ray. Yeah. Yeah. What's cracking? What's you just left the shop? Yeah, we're on our way back to the to Sack Speed and John's uh, shop. So you said people's cars are coming to missing, they're towing out of here? Yeah. Did you get all your parts or your some of your parts and stuff are missing too? My interior pieces were missing. My trimming off my windows are missing. Uh, I already know my suspension parts were missing. Uh, there's just a whole lot of shit missing, bro. There's just, there's cars that uh, got got quoted, I guess, they left there, and uh, the customers are just finding out they got towed. Bruh. They got impounded, so. Yeah, they were they were saying that. Remember, we thought there was less cars there, and remember, people were saying they had deposits and. And all that other stuff, it's like, bruh, I heard it's like 25 cars. Like, people left deposits and the cars aren't even there. Bro, there's like 30 cars. There's all the cars that were outside on the side of the building were his. And then 
then there's a, there's another yard on the outside that has like uh, six cars, or maybe more. There's more. Uh, yeah, there's probably like eight or ten cars of uh, his outside too. Bro, that's crazy. People, hey, people ain't gonna people ain't gonna believe me. They think gonna think I'm bullshit with this one. I'm like, bro, this is insane. This is like some movie stuff. Yeah, bro, I, I'm fucking pissed, bro. The fucking the Chevelle, I picked it up in worse condition, and when I dropped it off, it, it, well, you see, you you see the you see my FD, bro. The FD was in way better condition than when it got dropped off. Your your FD's covered in hell of dust right now, bro. I wouldn't even turn that bitch on at all. I'm, I know the interior. The interior is all messed up too. Bro, it's bad. Bro, I, I I told Rick. I think Rick's gonna be trying to pick up his car, but it's like, bro, like I need my I need my deposits, bro. Like, yeah, he, he's that nigga ain't gonna pay uh, anybody back. I bet you he pays me back. No, I just I don't know. I mean, you're gonna have to pull up on him or something, but I don't think he's gonna want to pay anybody. He's not gonna show up. Yeah, he don't have money. Bro, that's crazy. That nigga took, just took everybody's deposits. Yeah. Bro, I had, I had, dude, I had somebody, I had, I had somebody come down from SoCal just to pop up, bro. It's gotten too, so bad to where people are, when people knew that he was at D's garage trying to clean my car up, people were pulling up to D's garage, bro, looking for Jay. Uh, uh. And some dude, I guess some dude in San Jose had a truck or whatever. He said it's missing. And then somebody came down from Soul Cow, said that their car is missing. Yeah. He's, there's there's a, a couple fox bodies in, in, uh, in a yard in the back. And uh, I mean, I don't know where the, who the owners are. There's like like four, or three or four notches and a, and a fastback in the back. Bruh, this is probably the craziest paint situation I've dealt with. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you, you need to come today or tomorrow to come get your shit, bro. Before I'm going. I'm, nah, I'm going up there. I'm about to go up there right now. I'm grabbing the swing stain, and then I'm. Uh, Alex told me I can drop the FD off at Saks V Shop. He said I can take it to y'all. Yeah. yeah. Does John have a trailer? No, no. We uh, we ended up getting a tow truck. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can get my FD out of here today. Maybe I'll go borrow Rick, uh, Rick's truck right now or something. Yeah, it, it, all your body parts, all everything that you got, bro. Shit. All right. I'm gonna find out, bro. The are gonna pull up and start yanking shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm going up there in a little bit. I'll be there. Yeah. All right, bro. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Insane, bro. I feel like if I didn't, I feel like if I didn't vlog this. Or show this niggas would be like, oh, this nigga's doing the mic mic thing. He's just tripping. He has beef with everybody. I've stayed quiet for so long and tried to let this nigga right his wrongs. And man, 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 man. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta call my friends that have cars there. Uh, I'm pulling up, grabbing my swing stain, trying to get my FD up out of there. But yeah, it's pretty fucking bad, bro. But with that being said, man, let me go grab this stuff and I might be rushing out there. But if you are watching this, if you brought your car to Jay because of me, I know some of you guys did, go get your shit ASAP, bro. Because his uncle's talking about lean selling everything and it's, it's wild, wild west right now. So I can't believe, man, bro, get y'all stuff. That's all I gotta say. Go over there, get y'all All right, man, so I just called. I'm about to have a last minute tow, tow bro pull up. I'm about to have him take my FD, dropping the FD off at Saks Shop. And then as far as the swing stain, I'm going to be driving that home. You guys know I have a trailer now, but my damn truck ain't here. So, yeah, I got to have bruh pick up the FD. But I want to just get all my shit out of there tonight, man. I can't risk it sitting there. It's like it's literally the wild, wild west right now over there. So, I know everybody's picking up their stuff. There's Camaros that got air ride suspension missing. It's like... All right, so we just getting here. We got Rick shit outside this one. Look, bro pulled up. He come to pick his shit up too. This shit is stupid. This show was dead or something? Uh, I think so. Uh, 
For what? It's a brand new battery. I know I started it and put it back here. But uh, I think when they moved it, they fucking left uh, the key on. You wanna start it? We gotta get my FD out too. I'm taking this. Okay. I'm taking this today, so. Oh, shit. Okay. And I need to grab whatever parts I got here. Yeah, see in the all this stuff. Which car is yours? Mine's, mine's out in the back. Oh yeah. There's probably like 30 other ones over there. There it is. Yeah. There it is. That's where that's where the problem is. <laughs> Nigga then took on like 30 cars. It's easy to take the pause, it's easy to finish. It's not, yeah. it's not Why my shit not starting? <laughs> Bruh. I don't know what's shining in the car or your chain. It's almost, it's almost done. It's almost <laughs> done. Same way I dropped this motherfucker off. Just came out dusty. So, you're getting it back dusty. This nigga was a little bit taller, I'd be putting my hands on him. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Don't fall for that shit, bro. Don't Pick fall for it. Pick your shit up, bro. See how empty this has been. Everybody coming to get that shit. Boy. That's crazy. Get your shit. <laughs> that's what I'm waiting for. My toe nigga coming right now. And they got me out here in the mother. I'm in, I'm in the pajama pants. You must have seen you must have seen all the posts. I've seen the posts. I'm like, no, everybody, everybody grabbing this shit. Niggas can be coming over and taking parts, all kind of shit. Right, I seen the boys parts, so I'm like, bro, I'm trying to come back to my shit. Final permission. Bruh, no. One interior, bruh. Yeah, man, interior is getting shot. This is crazy. <laughs> Where are my door panels and stuff at? Man, what's up, bruh? Man. <laughs> my my toe man up? came. <laughs> Damn, bro. I know. Has it been here? Year two? Oh, I don't know. Man, tear all messed up. All right, all right. So this owner's here too. Look, another one. Another one. Need a tow truck, bro. I got a tow truck right here. Bad, bro. Bad business, nigga. Pretty sure it's mill doing this seat, because I remember this shit being in the rain. Bro, look at that shit, bro. All that shit just in the back like that. Boy, it's about to be bad. What, you got people coming too? Someone, someone might be coming here shooting the fuck out of this place. Yeah. Uh, look at it. Tell that nigga don't shoot until we leave. Rick just said, hey, Scott's V's down there. Try to get some pictures of it. 
<coughs> there ain't no V down here. It's probably in one of these lots. No, the bro, I just looked everywhere and looked in each of those spots, bro. Like, five, ten, nah, they got a. They got. He be putting shit over here. About to tell him because he, he's about to be pissed. That's the. Bro, you honestly like the what fourth owner that we seen come up here? Oh, while we here. That V just got a face with a buck thirty. You talking about the red one? You know why that V's here, right? Oh, because uh, I got the V here. Yeah, and he was uh, one of Rick's homies. Yes. Yeah. Look, mo people coming to pick up. <laughs> what car you got here? Where your shit at? This shit his, his truck. What truck? We ain't seen no trucks here. For real? Where a truck? Where your truck at? So he's been here for like three years. <laughs> That's crazy. Everybody. <laughs> This is nuts. Hey, the reason why I'm vlogging this shit is because niggas would have been like, that nigga tripping, he lying. Oh, niggas would have been like, that nigga, he's just, that nigga just tripping for no reason. Ray's been posting something every five minutes about oh, this shit. This shit. Yeah. Niggas is mad. Ray was mad when I was here weeks ago. I was I was taking sleepy as shit out of here, Ray's shit out of here. I take like two he inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Took two, three cars out of here. Good luck, bro. Y'all better start getting ready to start picking up parts and pieces. <laughs> Anybody who pulls up at this point is coming for this shit because no one had any business over here. Right? No, everybody trying to come check on this shit. Like, bro, your uncle just told us, like, nigga, you getting evicted, nigga. His uncle came in here hot. It, went, it made sense when you told me he, that was his uncle. Was yeah, crazy. he like, no, no, it's good. I'm like, nah, it ain't good. Who's uncle? Yeah. Yeah. See. You call him tow truck, bro. <laughs> this shit ain't even here. See, told me, I'm like, bro, niggas thought I was exaggerating when I said cars ain't here, bro. I was like, nah, I'm coming, that's why I'm coming to get my sh All right, man, we got the FD somewhat back together and ready to go. So hood latches are missing. My glass got broken. Tabs and shit are missing. Door panels are all fucked up. So yeah, I'm definitely not happy. <laughs> This nigga was a little bit taller, bro. I'd be going inside his fucking head right now. But I gained zero brownie points for beating up a little ass nigga. So yeah, we're gonna load this shit up. I think bro is damn near ready to beat him up too because he can't find his truck. So if he beat him up, can I vlog it? So if he beat him up, can I vlog it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Get her up, get her up, man. I'm ready to get this shit out of here and be done with this chapter. So probably tomorrow we're gonna be dropping it off at the at the new painter. But yeah, I'm hella mad about these door panels because anybody that knows FD, bruh, FD parts are expensive as hell, bruh. So these door panels are gonna be expensive. Trying to find tabs and literally got her do a full restore on this shit. It's like there should be some tow hook areas at the bottom. I'm pretty sure it ain't bolted, but I see what the fuck we just went through, so I'm not really gonna put that on here. I think other bro ready to fire on him. Oh bro, that white one? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'd be worried about the quiet one. Uh, I think he he like bro, I'm new to testing my patience. You hear, you hear what he said? I'm just trying to stay calm. I'm like, oh we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that ain't the one. That ain't the one. Sucks right here too. No, I know. But the, I like, it's a little more gentle with it. Hey man, do you, man. You, you, you the professional here, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be towing around $100,000 cars, even though this right now is probably worth about five. <laughs> <laughs> too much, you know what I'm saying? You worth about a soft fitty. You're putting together with self tappers right now. And zip ties. Oh man, that's my bet. And I call that done. <laughs> <laughs> so mad, bruh. I should've just took this car to Paradox and just had it wrapped instead of trying to get this thing painted. It's in way worse condition than when it got dropped off, bro. It's, a, it's gonna be such a big job trying to fix this thing and get it back to where it was at. Or even better, cause you know, it's going to it's going to get painted, so. I had to buy new seals. I gotta try to find OEM Mazda clips. I'm gonna be so deep into this car, it's like almost not, like I'm not gonna be able to get rid of it. I'm kinda gonna be stuck and married to it. Hey, watch that tailpipe. F that tailpipe, that's the least of my worries. You good? Go ahead. I don't want to be none of my worries. Nah, you good. You got about four inches. Oh, okay. That's what she said. <laughs> F, 
50 going up. You good? I'm bro, you I got you. Alright, so we just got this thing started up. For some reason it does not want to start, so battery is extremely dead on this one. But yeah, we got a we got another one. This is my guy. My guy has a sick ass V. <laughs> That's nowhere to be found. <laughs> Alright man, now that we now that we here talking to the other customers, this shit is starting to make sense. My man's called it first. My man's called it first. He literally was like, bruh, he's like, I think that nigga's in phase one of drugs. I'm like, nah. Maybe because I see him all the time, I don't, I don't look at it. But then the other customer came and was like, I don't know, he's 50 pounds lighter since the last time I seen him. I'm like, stage one. Is it like it? I know, he pointed out the pupils dilated. I'm like, bruh, have I been missing the signs? Stage one. I've seen him. What's crazy, because he said that he called him and asked him if he can pay for his car in full. He called and asked me for a deposit for some other shit when the car wasn't done. I'm like, that's fine, I ain't tripping, just get the car done. Bro, no, but that's but now it now it's making sense. All these cars, deposits, and no no work being done? What drug you think it is? Heroin? Oh. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say Coke? that. Coke? Which I one? Which one you think? I don't know. Maybe a little too much paint. <laughs> oh, no. Damn, this makes sense, I can't bro. Call it because look, he, the he, other dude walked off. You're probably punking him in there. First thing you can peep, you can peep their, uh, you can peep their fingernails, see if they're hitting some bumps. Getting all these deposits, he's gonna afford it. He does wear a long sleeve and it's hot. Ooh, I'm gonna let's go ask him. Like, hey, let me see your, let me see them veins, bro. Yeah. This shit's in here idling. It's probably it can't turn off. Mark, no, 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 no. We're done with that that trial of our life. Again, if I didn't record this shit, niggas would have thought I was tripping. But here y'all see it. I'm not making this up. Y'all got customers all over, bro. Customers all over. Oh, you look matter. One, two. Three, four, and the ones that came earlier. And this nigga has a CTSV here that came off of my recommendation. And his car, he can't even find his car. This is insane to me, bruh. Maybe it is drugs. Maybe, maybe it is. All right, man, I'm just getting home. You can see Swang Stain's back at the house. But, bro, this situation is crazy. So, Hello, people, in the last video when I wasn't happy with the paint job on a swing stain, even though I didn't even point out what was going on, what was wrong with it, you know, you had those people like, bro, you always got an issue with somebody. And now, this ain't even a me thing. So, if everybody's like, bro, it's always you. You do this, you rush them, blah, blah, blah. Bro, there's people coming here saying their car was there for three years. Um, when I left that dude with the truck, I guess Jay took his car to somebody to get welded. Uh, Jay's been telling the painter that, or Jay's been telling the customer like, oh bro, it's almost done, it's almost painted. <laughs> and the whole time this dude's car has been sitting at somebody else's house or something, uh, dude put a lean cell on it, uh, sold parts off of dude's OBS uh, blazer to cover what Jay owes him and was putting a lean cell on the car and taking it. Like, insane stuff, bro. So, yeah, everybody's saying, oh bro, you be tripping, like, out of here this has nothing to do with me it is just this is probably <laughs> the worst paint shop i've been to or had to deal with this tops the cake of twinkie uh jesse like this is insane to me bro not me exaggerating the number this is his own uncle saying that that fool had 30 cars literally 30 cars from his his uncle said this 30 cars that he took deposits on and they've been sitting at another lot at that big ass location and he hasn't done anything. There's cars that are missing, cars that got towed, uh, cars that are just at other people's houses, cars that are parked, Who, whoever the hell knows where Jay's been storing cars at. So yeah, bruh, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I missed something. You guys know this car 
got painted. A lot of y'all are referring like, well, why'd this car come out so good and the other one didn't? If you go back to the video when this car got painted, you will see his cousin was the one who laid the paint on here. So if you look at the body, the body and everything looks good. And then when you start looking at the bumper, you can see runs and stuff right here because remember, this is what Jay painted. So now that the Swang Stain was my first full car that he's painted for me, I'm starting to see the, imp or, well, I seen the imperfections was like, bro, it looked like two different people painted it. It's because his cousin <laughs> sprayed this car, man. That's why this car came out a lot better than what the Swang Stain did. So for the things that you guys didn't see me say or mention about the Swang Stain while I was uh, mad, when the car got delivered, uh, battery, everything's like, battery cables, everything's all missing. We couldn't find anything. Uh, bolts are missing. Look like somebody tried to steal my steering wheel. Uh, all the steering wheel bolts were missing and stripped. It was hella loose. So we couldn't even move the car in. We had to literally push it up the hill at D's to get it where it was at. That's part of the reason I was mad. And then when I'm looking at it in the sunlight, you can see crazy orange peel. You can see the scratches, um, just a bad job in general. Granted, it's a drift car, but you know, when I'm paying, I'm literally, I'm literally paying double to triple of what people were paying. I think that silver car dude paid like three grand. I think Rick's paying 45 or something. I'm paying double of what they're paying. And it's like, I'm still getting, you know, this is what I got in return. Just because something is a drift car does not mean like, ah, it's gonna be a drift car. He's gonna crash his car into a wall. It's gonna get messed up. So what? I'm paying you to do the best possible job that you can, you know, for, for what I'm paying you to do. Like, it was, yeah, bruh. Uh, on top of that, I had seals that weren't put on the car that are missing, trim that was supposed to be put on that's missing, um, the door handles and everything were stripped, the door locks aren't working, um, the, the window regulator where the little uh, handle goes on, that got completely stripped, so the actuator needs to be swapped out. Uh, just, uh, there was a gang of stuff, man. There was a lot of stuff that I've been just like, you know what, you better, like, better handle that. That's why I was giving the benefit of the doubt. Uh, that's why I say nothing on that video. But for the people that are like, oh, I was just tripping off the paint job, it was far, far deeper than the paint job, man. It, that was just part of what was going on. Uh, on top of that, the lion. Uh, now that I'm seeing from other customers, like I'm not the only person he's lying to. He's been lying to Rick, telling Rick his car is damn near ready for paint when he has self-tap screws on his uh, over fenders. Um, the OBS owner that was there, Rick, or the uh, Jays was telling him, oh, the car's ready for paint. And nigga, the car's not even at the shop, can't even find it. And he can't even get it back. Like, like I don't, I, I'm mind blown by it. Like, honestly, this is, <laughs> this is crazy. This is literally some stuff from a movie, but yeah, man. Uh, I'm just glad I got my FD out of there. Um, there's still some parts there. I'm probably go back and pick up, but as far as business wise, I'm done. Like this, when we first started, everything was good. It seemed like it was about business. I don't know what the hell happened between there. Uh, there was rumors like, oh, he's drinking more, blah, blah, blah. Like all this other stuff. Like I've been hearing things through the grapevine, but I was kind of just been like, yeah, like we'll see. But now I'm putting, putting two and two together, connecting dots. I'm like, bro, maybe he is on drugs. Like, I, I don't know, but bro, it's, it's crazy. Uh, if y'all want to fact check any of this, Y'all can look on Instagram. Y'all can see everybody's going there picking up his cars. It's so chaotic, man. Y'all seen people there right now. Uh, you know, there's literally customers there ready to fight the nigga. People like it's it's that bad, bro. So I'm glad I got my cars. Uh, already got somebody that wants to paint the SE and the FD. So I'm gonna probably drop the FD off to him uh, tomorrow once I get a hold of them, just to make sure it's still good. We can drop that thing off, get my FD back cleaned up, and. Just, yeah, it just sucks because the FD was relatively clean other than needing the paint job underneath the wrap. Uh, all the door panels, all the interior were clean, had R1Cs, like it was a clean FD. And right now it's just like door panels are boofed, like tabs are missing, the front windshield's broken. So, you know, it's going to cost me a good amount to get the FD back. Um, I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, I've been... Like for, for those that know me from the beginning, man, that's been here for a while, y'all know like, I'll be quick to put hands on a nigga, bro. Like, stupid quick. And over the last couple of years, y'all kind of seen me mellow down. I've been going at people, but I ain't really had to, you feel me, get down and, and really go put, put paws on somebody. Uh, but I swear, man, on my daughter's life, if this nigga was probably about five or six inches taller, so it would have been worth me getting on his head or, like, I probably would have put hands on him tonight just because of 
everything that's been going down, all the lies, like out of everybody I've dealt with, he's probably the only one that's owed me money. Even Cody gave me money back for, for the truck we were in and all that. Like granted, you know, it came down to what it came down to, but he still owned up and, you know, gave me some money back. But this nigga, he, he owes me thousands. So yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how all this folds out. But if you have a car over there, go get it, man. This ain't just talking this ain't just rumors his uncle who owns the building said that he's getting kicked out jay hasn't paid rent and probably like two or three months so if you have a car there go grab it before your shit comes up missing uh or it goes on lean cell or whatever but it's a bad situation man so yeah this is yeah i don't even know what else to say bro like i got so many things going through my head it's just you know better for me to probably just wrap it up but yeah, I told D he can have the 4 I know he wants it, so this will end up going to D, uh, hopefully sometime this weekend. That way I can get my driveway space and everything back, because I am running out of space right now. So I'm going to get rid of the 4 I get SD, um, give it to him with all the LS swap stuff, and we'll figure out what we want to do. Uh, he's going to be taking all the suspension and stuff, so I'll probably use that as a trade for the label for the uh, labor for the 6-4. But yeah, uh, let's just wrap this up, man. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Hopefully you guys are going to be picking up y'all stuff, but until next time, man, we out. Found the V, abandoned in the fucking parking lot, someone else's parking lot, down the street.